Getting too many oxalates in your diet is a problem for many people, and it may even be a problem for you, and you're not even aware of it. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience. Let's talk about high oxalate foods and how it might affect you. Eating or drinking too many oxalates on a daily basis can trigger pain and or inflammation all over your body. It, it's different for different people. Some people will have the inflammation here, others will have it there. Oxalates can cause increased inflammation, burning sensations, eye irritation, skin irritation, irritated tissues inside your body, irritated mucous membranes, that's your mouth and nose and other mucous membranes. Uh, it can cause the formation of calcium oxalate stones, kidney stones. I promise you don't want one of those. The following is a very short list of medical and mental conditions that are improved by eating a very low oxalate diet or even an oxalate free diet. They include, but are not limited to, autism spectrum disorders, chronic candida, chronic fatigue, COPD, uh, asthma, cystic fibrosis, fibromyalgia, hormonal imbalances, insomnia, joint pain, kidney stones, thyroid disease, uh, and then chronic inflammation or burning in the bladder, in the vagina, or other perineal regions. Now, the ability to tolerate oxalate ingestion, like most things in human physiology, follows a normal distribution curve. Some people are not very affected by even a high oxalate diet. Some people are exquisitely sensitive to even a low amount of daily oxalate ingestion. You have to figure out which one of these people you are, and you do that through trial and error. You do that through personal experimentation. If you're having any of the conditions I listed above or just chronic inappropriate inflammation, uh, chronic elevation of your markers of inflammation, and you're not really sure why, then I would highly encourage you to do a 90-day trial of eating a very low oxalate diet or a diet that's oxalate free. This is another great reason that I love the triple B and E diet uh, for 90 days at least. Triple B and E stands for beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. These are all oxalate free and are going to give your body a break from daily oxalate ingestion. And if you are suffering, if you're one of those people who are exquisitely sensitive to even low levels of daily oxalate ingestion, you're going to get tremendous amounts of relief in that 90 day period. Now there is some renal physiology research that shows that for most people, it's probably perfectly safe to ingest between 100 milligrams and 200 milligrams a day of oxalates. But as I said earlier, there are some people who are exquisitely sensitive and they should never ingest that many oxalates on a daily basis, whether it's in food that they chew up and eat or it's in a liquid form, a smoothie or some green drink or something that they drink every day. Uh, some people can tolerate that, but many, many people cannot tolerate that. But make no mistake, every human being on planet Earth is sensitive to oxalates above a certain level. And uh, many people have found this out the hard way by ingesting too many beet greens or rhubarb leaves or poke salad leaves. Now I'm gonna give you a list of the top seven common foods that although they sound pretty healthy to the average person, they are very high in oxalates and could be contributing to some of your symptoms. I'm gonna give them to you in reverse order and we'll save the one with the highest level for last. So number seven is Raisin Bran. It has 46 milligrams of oxalate per one cup of cereal. Number six on the list is Navy Beans with 76 milligrams per one half cup serving. Number five are Beets and they have 76 milligrams of oxalate per one half cup. Number four on this list is corn grits and really anything made of corn. Uh, it's going to have 97 milligrams per one cup serving. 
Number three on this list is a baked potato with the skin. One medium baked potato with the skin is gonna have 97 milligrams of oxalate. Number two on the list is almonds. One ounce of almonds is, has 122 milligrams of oxalates. And then number one on the list and blowing everybody else away is that old perennial favorite Popeye Superfood spinach has 755 milligrams of oxalates per one half of a cup. Now, I included a link below to a very extensive list of high oxalate foods, and they're broken down uh, into categories of very high, high, medium, low, and very low. Now, some of you guys, as long as you avoid the, the high and the very high, foods on that list, you're going to do fine. Others of you will need to also avoid the medium and perhaps even the low oxalate foods and stick to the very low oxalate foods or even the oxalate free foods. If you know someone who eats way too many oxalates on a daily basis, you might consider sharing this video with them. And then also, if you'd like to ask me a question directly and have access to an additional four question and answer sessions with a very limited number of participants, then consider becoming a patron on patreon.com. There's a link down below. It's a quick sign up.